Hello, Blue Justin here, still Justin, still not blue, and I apologise in, uh, in preparation for the fact that you've obviously noticed uh, this video is uh, quite late. Um, it's basically down to various things, including technical issues, medical issues and personal issues. Uh, I'm not going to go into any of those because I'm sure you're not particularly interested, but I hope you are interested in the rather large pile of uh, uh, ma uh, material that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks, which I'm about to show you as soon as possible before I melt. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs> Right, uh, first thing I'd like to quickly say is that I think quite a few of the uh, items that I've picked up are worthy of an unboxing. So I would like to see anyone who would, uh, is interested make a comment below um, to this video saying which one would be their preference or which ones preferably with an order because saying all doesn't really help me um, <laughs> so that uh, I can get an idea of what people are interested in now I know some of these have already probably been unboxed you might be able to find them elsewhere so um, I don't know whether you'd like to see me do them I don't know whether you like the way I unbox things because I, I try to do, do them in as much detail as I can uh, rather than just to show you this is what it looks like um, but uh, anyway I think um, we should probably get on with it um, and like I said please let me know uh, what you want to see unboxed and that'll probably be my next video if my next video isn't the um, the Batman Steelbook HMV special giveaway for my 200 subs, which I'm still thanking you for. I really do appreciate it. Let's start off with not uh, not what what you call a real classic, but it is to me um, <laughs> the absolutely superb Tremors. I mean, it's, it's more of a cult classic rather than a, obviously than a classic. But this is the uh, Zavi exclusive 4K steelbook. Um, and it's got uh, limited edition packaging, newly commissioned artwork, 4K restoration from the original negative by Arrow, um, all approved by the director and the director of photography it's got hdr it's got dolby vision and hdr 10 obviously um unfortunately it doesn't look like it's got atmos it's but it does have restored dts hd master audio theatrical 2.0 stereo 4.0 surround and remixed 5.1 or all surround audio options um audio commentaries um, uh, by someone who's done the unofficial guide to tremors called Seeking Perfection if you want to look that one out. Um, there's also there's lots, I, I, if I go through this I'm go never going to get through the, the rest of the thing but uh, you can see the number of features and stuff that are there on the back so that's an awful lot and <laughs> Like I said, I've, I've, I've had uh, a few problems recently, so I haven't um, got any proper notes this week, I'm afraid. Uh, not that you ever <laughs> sometimes look like I ever do. Uh, it's, but they, I just wanted a couple of small things. Um, making ofs, creature featurette, um, lots of image galleries, behind the scenes, storyboards. And two different drafts of the screenplay, now which might be quite interesting. You see how they differ. Right, moving on to one I think I have seen um, 
I found out and I think a few people have got but I wanted to pick it up even though it hasn't got the huge brilliantest reviews and that's the 4k Yazavi exclusive steelbook of <laughs> uh, uh, of ambulance um, uh, which is essentially about uh, the um, a heist gone wrong in which they grab um, uh, an ambulance to escape in um, that's probably about sums up the plot the only thing I would say about the, this one is that you, you can I don't know if you can see that there but even through the even through the shrink wrap I can see that there's some um, they've debossed the two bullet holes in the back of the ambulance there which is a nice touch anyway that's just a pick up for me now here's one that I'm probably going to go on a bit about for a reason that I'll tell you in a moment and this is the new Columbia Noir 5 uh, the important thing about this one is that I've got I'm, I, 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 like I said I haven't got notes so it's quite there uh, and um, uh, so I don't have any sort of like information on the characters played particularly in the various different films um, and so I have to talk for long enough to put some scrolling text up here that's going to go slow enough for you to actually be able to read it. Um, so <laughs> what I particularly liked about this one, even though I would love all the others as well, which I haven't got, is that this one has uh, an actual theme in the sense that they are all Humphrey Bogart movies and not quite so well known ones, which is nice to see. Um, and they are, and I'm sure you can read them off the front just as much as I can read them off the back, but anyway, I'm going to. Um, Dead Reckoning, Knock on Any Door, Tokyo Joe, Shiroko, Family Secret, and oh, I can't read that last one. Uh, the Harder They Fall. Um, this is in the Indicator Limited Edition, minus 3864 of 6000. They've got uh, various high definition remasters and 4K restorations of various of the different films. Uh, Humphrey Bogart does not play a PI in all of these. He's his various different characters, um, journalist, whatever. So, um, it's but they are obviously all going to be noir stuff otherwise they wouldn't put them all in the noir box um and also as you can see however from the edge they've all come in separate um sort of like envelopes the sleep sort of thing and um plus you've got this one here which i think is, is the 120 page book with the new essay um by uh with extensive archival articles and interviews plus new writing and various on the various short films and film credits it's by imogen sora smith and this is the uh like i said limited edition of six thousand uh it's got so much on here again i can i can show you just how much there is there it's all sorts of things including uh remastering um redoing of various subtitles um that sort of thing image galleries obviously trailers um not sure on the audio states of these but it's quite likely that uh, they haven't done too much the audio apart from clear it up I would imagine because um, it won't have been recorded uh, in anything that um, like surround back from then 
However, uh, absolutely lovely. I've been looking forward to getting this for quite some time, all of it long while ago. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing it now. Well, seeing all of them. And those are all the titles. So don't forget, I could unbox this one. So just mention it if you want to see that. I could also unbox this next one. And when I said that uh, Tremors was sort of like a cult classic, this is one I would regard as a true classic. And that is the Xavi exclusive 4K steelbook. <laughs> Seems to be becoming a catchphrase. Uh, of Bridge on the River Kwai. I'm surprised if you don't know the plot, but this is um, the story of a um, World War II um, group of people captured by the Japanese forced to build a bridge on the River Kwai and uh, the various exploits that uh, carry on uh it won best picture and best director and best actor as well as uh four other academy academy awards in 1957 and is uh, absolutely an uh, amazing film so yeah that's i i had to open that one up because i got it as a as a rattler so um that's why it, I, I, I should really put a plastic covering on it, I know, but I will do soon, don't worry. Um, <laughs> next one up is another biggie. So let's do the biggie thing. As you might have guessed on my shirt. Ooh. It appears to be the Mad Max 4K Steelbook Anthology set in the nice big case. Um, as you can see, they're all nicely separated out by to make sure they don't get damaged in there, which is a more is a modern uh, taken thing. So I have had in the, the dim and distant past. I've had steel books just turn up uh, all rubbing together on practically okay they're protected by the cellophane that's about it but uh, these now very nice good little things top and bottom to protect them I believe this one I have seen somebody do an unboxing of but I don't know how detailed it was so uh, if you want me to do the unboxing for this huge set of 4k uh films mad max mad max the road warrior mad max beyond thunderdome thunderdome rather and mad max fury road the uh long wait uh, follow up uh, a long time later then please let me know in the comments i believe they had problems originally when they released what this uh uh, the 4K set. I can't remember whether it's the Steelbook set or just the general one. But they had problems with the first one because they advertised on it that uh, it included the original um, 2.0 sound. Uh, and I don't know how many people actually listened to it in the 2.0 sound. But the problem were came when the fact that it was very easily proven that it wasn't the original 2.0 sound it was um a down mix from the new i think it's they're all done i mean atmos i can't see it on here easily but uh So yeah, there's, I think it's a damn mix from one of the much higher ones, and because they'd made a minor mistake on the center channel on the 
on the on the on the remix, uh, it was very very obvious when it was down mixed incorrectly that they had lied about having the um, uh, the original audio on there, and because they lied, they had to withdraw them because of legal potential repercussions. Um, just so you'd like to see, that's the information side. You want to be able to try and read a bit of those because I can't read it quickly enough to really help. Uh, oh yeah, on the 4K. Uh, Dolby Atmos. Yeah, that's the one it does say. So that's it. And that's the oh, big picture they used to F ties. And I, I've already shown you all the separated out lovely steelbooks. And you can see from that that picture, so what me, oh, careful. <laughs> I'm not telling you, I'm telling me uh, what the various different steelbooks do look like in probably in small form, but it uh, gives you some idea. So, right. That's one big package. Uh, next up, I picked up the Zavi 4K exclusive steelbook <laughs> of um, uh, the Nick Cage film that people actually say there's, it's, isn't uh, one of his usual um, recent um, no effort straight to uh, straight to video efforts type of thing which is the unbearable weight of massive talent okay, I'll give you a quick read of the synopsis see if I can read it on the back it's unfortunately a bit hard to read and I'll tell you probably for a while in a minute so it's wildly wildly entertaining action-packed comedy um creatively unfulfilled in financial ruin the fiction this fictionalized version of cage accepts a multi-million dollar offer to attend the birthday of a dangerous super fan and things take an unexpected turn when cage is recruited by a cia operative and must use his legendary acting skills <laughs> some might say I personally do do like his stuff, but uh, I mean I'm obviously well aware of the fact that some of his times at times he he does dial it in a little bit, especially much more recently, uh, challenging channeling his most iconic and beloved characters to become a real life action hero. So it sounds actually like great fun to me, and I was just saying that the reason I think um, it's so hard to read there off the back. Is that I believe this is uh, one that underneath the shrink map is going to have a, um, a clear plastic slip cover with uh, the writing on it and I think that's the case because normally obviously you can, you can push you can push um, the sides there where there's, there's, there's the gap and you can tell that that isn't that's not just the shrink wrap isn't giving at all so I think there's a clear uh, slip there um, so yeah I, I hear this is uh, like I said um, very much uh, better than some of his more recent efforts and very entertaining it does also include an audio commentary uh, by the writer director, deleted scenes, um, Gimmers of a Bygone Cage, which might be quite interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, so that, that's that's gonna be fun. It's 15 rated incidentally for strong language, drug misuse, violence, and brief sex references. I'm sorry I didn't necessarily mention that on all of those right next one i picked up yes i know i've 
I said I'd cut him down on the amount I was buying, didn't I? And it just seems to have, the last couple of weeks seems to have been a bit of a blip, especially since I had my birthday in there as well. And that's going to be a totally separate haul. And hat's already going through the roof bigger than this one. But uh, uh, I finally got around to picking up one of the films that everybody says is really, really good. And I was just waiting for the price to drop. And that is the regular 4K. Regular. What's well, an exclusive still book? Regular 4K of Jojo Rabbit. Uh, very um, interesting ideas, I think, in here. And odd styles of humour. So uh, I'm really not that familiar with what the whole thing is is about um but everyone says it's good and recommended it to me so i decided i wanted to buy it and watch it so i'm done the buying part and i've just got to get around to the watching part um i probably won't think i suspect that this won't be the one that uh, everyone will recommend that i Unbox considering it's just a regular one, but it does just slip apart from that. Now, this one's a bit unusual, as in, you, I don't think many people would have seen it before. Uh, this is a Zoe 4K, I think this is the 4K exclusive um special edition collector's edition um i think you can get it a lot cheaper um if you want to just go by down the regular route but i didn't this was or is bell now i'm not 100 percent sure how closely it relates whatever but uh, i can i can give you the brief description which is that uh suzu is a 17 year old high school student living in a rural village with her father and she has only been a shadow of herself and then she enters the online world of you with five billion members on the internet and and, and she's not suzu anymore but she can live her life out as bell a world famous singer who meets up with a mysterious creature and together they embark upon a uh, journey of adventures, challenges and love in their quest to find out who they really are. So obviously that's going to be the, the creature and that's going to be Belle on the front. I am wondering, considering that description of whether the certain aspects will measure, the mirror uh, Beauty and the Beast, being as Belle is French for beauty and that's obviously a beast um uh, there's lots of bonuses this is all all the anime.com release uh it's got a making of it's got a conversation with the director it's got a music of bell interview finding the voice scene breakdowns um animation this is like i said 4k so quite unusual i think for a lot of animes to do that this is some film incidentally not uh, not a tv series i think it's about 104 minutes something like that 124 actually i just looked and found it uh it also includes uh, the original soundtrack on cd in this one art cards booklet certificate folded poster and it's a it's a serious set so as, as, as I think you can see from there, and it's even got a separate uh, box for the Blu-ray and extras. So, um, so I suspect that'll also contain the uh, the the CD. So, yeah. So it's got um, one 4K, three Blu-rays, and a CD in there. Uh, the uh, it states here that it's uh, Japanese DTS HD Master or 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio and English. Well, I thought I read somewhere that the Japanese was actually um, Atmos, so that so that it might be even better than that. 
um, if you want to watch it in the original language, which you probably will. So yes, that's another option for whether or not you'd like to see uh, that rather unusual that you might not have heard about thing unboxed. Um, and let me ease the back. Nicely 12 rated, so it's not going to have too many important thing, dangerous things in it. The next one is one that I'm really confident you might not, <laughs> that most people won't have heard of. Um, this is something called In Search of Tomorrow. This is not a film or a TV series, it is a crowdfunded um, uh, five hour documentary on the 80s sci-fi cinema so i don't know how because i know that uh, the five hours will probably have to include the credits and i know that uh, they had to credit all the people who crowdfunded them and that is about eleven thousand people to re who raised 1.3 million for it so um there's but there is i believe that 1.3 million was apparently well spent with lots of interviews now I, I i haven't taken it out of the wrapping yet though i probably should do because um i mean i have heard that the, the people who do the in search ofs um uh Sometimes they, they take the money and don't send it, but obviously they have this time and sometimes the quality isn't that good. Um, I haven't actually seen any people complain about the quality online, so I'm hoping that that isn't the, isn't the case this time around, um, especially um, because um, if they keep up their word in those 11,000 odd people I might be able to find my name in the uh, in the crowdfunding credits because I was one of those people who um, paid early enough so that I should be in there it's like I said five hours it's got English and Spanish subtitles and I think you can tell just from the characters on the front all the sort of people that uh, films that it's addressing I'm afraid, Alan, yes, that is Flash Gordon up at the top. <laughs> but I'm sure there won't be too much on that. Um, if I can just get it out quickly. The, the slip is different than uh, inside. It's a, a different cover. So that's uh, yet more films. You can see, this, obviously, you can see the... Um, the DeLorean from Back to the Future and uh, also the Millennium Falcon and various other uh, 1980s iconic vehicles so yep that I'm really looking forward to settling down and enjoying and seeing if I can find my name <laughs> if it's there and finally, and finally, as they say, yeah, this one is also another special edition. It's not, um, it's not a steel book, but it is um, a lim limited, I think, uh, special. Uh, it's by 88 Films. And this one is called The Seventh Curse. Uh, it stars Chow Yun Fat. Now, he's one of my favourite action stars of Hong Kong cinema. Uh, I'm not sure how much he's particularly... I mean, there are enough guns on the front, so he probably is going to be in some action scenes. But I believe that his character is... It rescues a woman who's about to be sacrificed, but then gets uh, cursed by the tribe that were about to sacrifice her with blood curses and um after the seventh one he's going to die but uh somebody manages to cast a, an anti-spell if you like on him 
which delays the onset of the curse for one year so he has time to go back and find a permanent cure so here we go you know it's it sounds all good fun and apparently um there's um it's quite uh um uh, horary so it'd be interesting um this is like i said limited edition rigid slip case brand new artwork double-sided fold-out poster new artwork lobby cards 80 page perfect band book including the short history on hong kong horror um uh, uncut 2k restorations of the extended Hong Kong version and the English version in the original 1.5 to 1 aspect ratios. Um, English mono dubs, Cantonese mono, newly transferred and optional English subtitles, audio commentary from the experts, uh, all the nice stuff that you'd like to expect from 88 film special edition. And again, I'm just showing you that to show you how quite thick the packaging is and yes it's another option if you would like to see that one unboxed so I think that's quite a few that I would like to show oh and incidentally if you want to see the um that uh the documentary uh in search of tomorrow unboxed uh that will also include the fact that uh, it came with in a in a, in a really big uh, hard box uh, uh, with a rolled up tube of um, posters and all that sort of uh, stuff so it's actually a lot bigger than it looks from just looking at the case there's more there if, if I did an unboxing there will be more there than uh, you get just by me opening uh, up the, uh, uh, the, the the normal uh, HD um, Blu-ray case if that makes any sense whatsoever I think I'm starting to lose the plot <laughs> um, so thank you for watching and again I'm sorry it's been late uh, it's just things getting in the way um, I'm not quite sure when it, the, the next uh, video is going to go up because I am away uh, visiting uh, my mum this weekend so I won't be able to record anything then so that'll be um, hopefully recorded and on Monday but it might not get edited until after then depending on uh, how everything keeps on going etc etc so um, in summary all I can say is thank you very very much for watching if you liked any of that um, please hit the like button um, if you're interested in seeing anything more on especially don't forget I've got this 200 subscriber uh, the Batman HMV special uh, exclusive um, steelbook uh, giveaway coming up and you need to be a subscriber for that please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, notification bell so you find out when I'm doing it um, and at the at the same time please if you can comment on which of the, the items that you've seen today if any that you, you hopefully that you want to see unbox i think there's uh, quite a few good interesting ones there that people have uh, probably not um, unboxed before and um, whether or not you want to see um, ones that you, maybe people have unboxed but you want me to do it in my style and uh, try to get a little as much detail as I can into it or whether you want to see something that nobody's uh, nobody's unboxed yet um, I'd really like to know but anyway in the meantime please keep on enjoying all the TV the uh, uh, films and the cinema and uh, if you can get there at least it's nice and cool with the uh, air conditioning in the cinema i suppose but uh anyway try try, try to keep cool well, how, by whatever method cheers <laughs>